Welcome down to the Neville, home of Brighton and Hove CC for some T20 action today and our first competitive match of the season. Keen viewers will remember we made it to the semis last year in this comp and here's hoping we can go further this year and potentially grab some silverware. Those same keen viewers might also remember that we won by 10 wickets down here in the T20 Cup last season. But this is a different Brighton outfit today. They had a busy off-season in the transfer market and have a few new faces on show today. They won the toss and put us into bat on a very firm and flat April wicket. Connor Golding strides out to bat alongside Jordan Shaw. Joe's plan here to get us off to a fast start in the power play and put immediate pressure on the Brighton bowlers. The plan on this occasion didn't come off and Jordan's dismissed in the second for the solitary run. But that brings in James Russell to the crease. So as you can see, a fast outfield here, Connor piercing the ring and rewarded with a boundary after three overs with 36 for one. Little bit of fortune for J Russ there, bold from a noe. Let's hope he capitalises on this. Poor Connor, not even in the picture. Russ hitting the ball firmly into the deck and fortuitously for Brighton, bouncing right into the fielder's grasp. Can't fault the intent, but I think you'll agree. Probably the wrong call on this occasion. Just out the power play and the score 61 for three off seven. Classic leg break dismissal. Russell picking up the man on the fence. It's two new men, skipper Joey Walker and Ben Caden. So a terrible start to the day for Joe, first losing the toss and then losing and swallowing his final remaining replacement tooth while eating a sandwich. We know Joe's strong against the spin and sweeping, probably because he's so close to the ground when upright, but he's doing a great job ticking the scoreboard along for us. Yeah! 
Walker drags the full delivery back onto his stumps and sadly departs for 31. Next man in and the final man of our Cardiff Met engine room is Aaron Brown. One twenty nine for four at the three quarter stage, with wickets in hand, one eighty is the target here, I reckon. Caden holds out for twenty nine of twenty four balls. There's been plenty of contribution today, but no one's taken it by the scruff. The first ball short, the next was always going to be full, and that was stone dead. Brighton have done well to keep taking regular wickets and could potentially dismiss us short of our 20 overs. Tom Blanford getting the broom out and putting that over the fence for a maximum. With George Cave at the other end, we've got one more over left to nab as many runs as possible. And that concludes it. Caveman using all his crease to get us those two final boundaries in the last. 180 for eight we end up on. I did tell you, but no. On today's pitch and outfield, that's probably par. Focus now turns to the bowlers. Connor takes the first down the hill and it doesn't take him long to get the breakthrough. Brighton eight runs for the loss of one wicket after the first. And second over is his opening partner, Jordan Shaw. So literally you don't have to get started, otherwise... So you basically, so we need to get a softener. An equally fast start from Brighton and three overs in, they're at 29 for one. Oh. 
Alright, okay. So that's, I've got to be there for six o'clock. Oh, yeah, boy! It was at 230 for both of us. That's it! Oh, right. It was 230. Don't go into those wonderful service stations. Brighton batting well and showing how easy it is to score out here. Well in control of the rate at 57 for 1 from 5, so a change with the ball. Aaron Brown's turn to hopefully do some damage. That one not falling into space and the safe hands of Tom Blanford making no mistake here. Mike's flipper picking up another wicket there. I'm joking. That's the classic slow bowlers drag down. Don't say that in the book though. That combination again, bold brown court T Blanford. The host now 81 for four from nine overs. So 100 needed off 66 balls. You can't keep Tom out of the action. Yes, no, has both batsmen stuck in the middle of the wicket and the umpires need to come together to decide which one was closest to the wicket keeper's end when the bell's whipped off. Not often you see a decision reversed, then possibly reversed again, but the umpires come to an agreement and 75 needed from 48 balls with five wickets in hand. Brighton's still giving it a whack and keeping the dream alive, but Archit's rewarded with a wicket for his tight spell so far. George Cave now getting in on the act with two in his final over to finish with figures of four overs, two wickets, 20 runs. Well bowled. And with it all but done, Geordie Shaw returns to pick up two in the 19th over. 
role not necessary. So that's the first competitive win of the year. A great team effort from the fellas to progress into the next round. Good fight from Brighton, but Wicket's just catching up with them in the second half of the innings. Thanks for watching and stay tuned as we have some ECB National Cup content coming and maybe an overseas on show for that. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.